Hello guys, welcome back to our channel CSE Concepts with Parinda. Guys, in today's video, we are going to see some very important topics of compiler design that is related to SDT. That is, we are going to understand what are synthesized attribute, what are inherited attribute, and more importantly, what are S attributed and L attributed SDT. So guys, if you are preparing for your academics or if you are preparing for the competitive exams like GATE or any other PSU exams like BARC, ISRO, ONGC, etc., you must be aware that these topics are very frequently asked topics and many students do don't consider them as important and they do leave these topics but believe me they are very easy and they can easily give you marks fine so in today's video we are going to see what are the main differences between these attributes so guys you must be aware what is sdt if you still don't know sdt is syntax directed translation i already have made two to three videos explaining what is sdt how it is working and we have also solved a couple of examples for sdt fine you can go and watch those videos i will give the link in the i button you can go and watch those videos and clear your doubt you will get exact idea what exactly sdt is and how it works so in this video without wasting any time we will directly see what are synthesized inherited what are synthesized and inherited sdt as well as we will see what is s attributed and l attributed sdt fine in very simple words we will try to understand them so that you can write it in your exam and get full marks so first of all what are synthesized attribute and what are inherited attribute so uh, guys let us try to understand what is inherited attribute first Be um, because it will give you better idea and you can easily remember that because that's how I also remember it. So let's see this inherited attribute first. Inherited attribute is an attribute of non-terminal on RHS of a production. Okay, uh, remember these keywords because these keywords will help you to remember the differences between them. So inherited attribute is an attribute of non-terminal on RHS of a production. Okay, on RHS of a production. It can take value either from its parent or from its siblings. So this is very important because see guys, um, in object oriented programming also you must be aware of the term inherited. What is inherited attribute? That any node or any particular element will inherit the qualities of their parents, right? That's what inherited is. So in that way you can remember that what is inherited attribute in SDT? the attributes that can take the value either from their parents or from their siblings it is known as inherited attribute okay in inherited one thing we already know that the things are inherited from parents in this case you have to remember another case also that it can inherit from the siblings also right so it can take the value either from its parent or from its siblings that is called inherited now at the same time let's see what is synthesized Synthesized attribute is an attribute of the non-terminal on the LHS of the production. Inherited RHS. Synthesized attribute means LHS. Okay. These are the, uh, this is the first difference. The second difference is in inherited we can, we have seen that it can take the value either from its parent or from the siblings. But in synthesized attribute, it can take value only from its children. Okay, so these two are completely opposite. In inherited, the values can be inherited from either parent or siblings, but in synthesized, completely opposite that the values can be taken only from its children. Okay, how the values can be taken only from the children? So the example is, for example, if A gives B, C is a production, Okay, if A gives B, C is a production, we know that A is the parent and these two are the children. Okay, so if A gives B, C is a production, A's attribute is dependent on B's attributes or C's attributes. Clear enough? Because what they have told that they can take the value only from children. So, the attribute A can take the value or it is dependent on either B or C. Because B is also the children of A and C is also the child of A. Sorry, right? So, B and C both are the children of A. That's why A's value is dependent on either B or C. So, in this case, if this is the case, we can say that it is synthesized attribute. On the other hand, in inherited, we have already seen that it will take the value either from its parent or from its siblings. So, if we see the example, if A gives BC is a production, 
here also again we know that a is the parent of both b and c okay so if a gives b c is a production b's attribute this b's attribute is dependent either on a's attribute because a is the parent of b or c's attribute because c is the sibling of b again b if we want to take the value of b it will be dependent either on a because a is the parent or on c because c is the sibling okay so if a gives b c is the production b's attribute is dependent either on the value of a or on c's attributes so if this is the case we can say that it is inherited attribute so if you understand point by point it is very easy to remember the difference between synthesized attribute and inherited attribute okay we have seen with the help of examples also so i hope it is clear enough for you now let's Let's quickly see what is S attributed SDT and what is L attributed SDT. Again, and this is a topic that is frequently asked in the competitive exams. So, what is S attributed SDT? It uses only synthesized attributes. So, this is the first difference. Again, let's see point by point. It will be easier for you to remember. If we talk about L attributed SDT, see first of all. Uh, s attributed sdt it uses only synthesized attributes we have already seen the two main types of attribute synthesized and inherited so s attributed sdt uses only synthesized attributes how you can remember it s for synthesized and s attributed okay so both ss that means whenever we have s attributed sdt it will use only synthesized attributes and what is synthesized attributes we have already seen here okay S attributed SDTs are evaluated in bottom up passing manner as the values of the parent nodes depend upon the values of the child nodes okay what we have seen what we have said that S attributed SDT uses only synthesized attributes and we already know what is synthesized attributes that they take the values of the parent uh, that in in SD, in uh, synthesized attribute what happens that the parent nodes take the value or depend on the value of the child nodes okay that's why s attributed sdts are evaluated in bottom up okay because parent will be here and child will be here right and here what happens that this parent node is dependent on the value of child so the evaluation is bottom up in this way okay clear enough okay now the next one is l attributed sdt it uses both synthesized and inherited attributes okay s attributed only synthesized but l attributed includes or uses both synthesized and inherited but there is a condition it uses both synthesized and inherited attributes with a restriction that inherited attribute can inherit values from left siblings only see guys um l attributed sdt uses both synthesized and inherited okay so what happens in inherited that any value uh, like a node can take the value from either its parent or its sibling when we say sibling it can include left sibling as well as right sibling but in l attributed sdt it can use synthesized as well as inherited but in inherited the condition is it can inherit values from left siblings only that means it cannot inherit values from right sibling it cannot okay it cannot inherit values from the right sibling in that case we can say that okay it is l attributed sdt now in l attributed sdt they are evaluated in top down and left to right manner okay in case of sdt we have seen that it is bottom up and in case of l attributed it is top down or uh, and actually top to we will scan top to down and left to right fine this is how the scanning of s attributed and l attributed sdt happens okay so these are just small small points but they can be you they can be asked in two three or four marks or even multiple um, mcqs or fill in the blanks can be framed from this topic right so this topic was very important to know i hope it is clear if there is any doubt you can always ask in the comment section and if you want to know or learn more about sdt if you want to solve the examples of sdt for your exam you can always go to our compiler design playlist in which we have already seen all the topics including sdt in detail i hope that will be helpful to you thank you so much